All of a sudden, he says, look at what I found in my hands. Ryan is the leader of this team. He's a guy that brings that energy, that enthusiasm, that love, that passion. Way back when he first got drafted, he came in, he was like, yo, I'm going to be a gold jacket guy. I'm going to be the best linebacker that the world has ever seen. How was he playing through 12 games? I mean, he was awesome. Play action fake big. going to be intercepted by Chase here. He took it away from the intended receiver. He was a lot for all pro, if you ask me. Until. Until he got hurt. December 4th, Monday Night Football, first quarter. On second and five, plenty of time for Dalton. What do you remember? It was a solid hit. It made a nice pop. I was like, oh, that's a good hit, Ryan. So I got up to celebrate with him. He was just laying there, and I'm like, oh, this don't look good. I went out on the field to check on him. As I got closer to him, I could see that he had tears in his eyes. You know, I was just like, little bro, you know, what's up? And uh, he was just like, you know, yo, I can't feel my legs. I just remember him getting carted off, and so then it just turns into questions. You don't know what's, you know, what's next, what's going on, and it's just all on our minds. I don't think anybody on their team or ours was interested in really playing football um, after seeing that play. I wasn't really myself. I couldn't really adjust. And I was just blowing calls. Cam Hayward came over at one point. What did he say? He was like, yo, you got to come back to us because we can't lose two linebackers a day. The challenge for the players to compartmentalize what just happened to Shazier and get back on the field. I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm not scared. It's been devastating, but at the same time, this is what I signed up to do. It's the fear that every player has that you never want to think about. How do you deal with that? You know, it made me question it. Just asking myself, why do I do this? You know, why do you play football this? Why do you put yourself at this risk? What are the answers? This provides me something, a feeling that I can't really fulfill any other way. I watched this dude paralyze himself for us to try to win a football game. How could I not go out and play as absolutely hard as I can? Shazier had spinal stabilization surgery two days after the injury. He started rehab in the hospital, and the long road to recovery began for Shazier and his teammates. What was it like the first time you went and saw him in the hospital? I see this bald head, I'll never forget this bald head and this big white smile. And he reaches out his hands to give me a hug. And it just was like, wow. Like, and I told him this, I said, you don't know what you just did to me. And I feel selfish for feeling this way, but this huge weight just comes off my back. He's hurt, he's laying there, he's talking about, you know, he's gonna get better. He already has a plan laid out. I'm just like, bro, can you move your toes? It's just a testament to who he is as a person. He's got a toddler, and Ryan was telling me how he, he struggles to, to play with him. All he wants to do is be able to move around with him. His son just knows that, you know, that he can't really play with him like that. It's just a challenge that he has to overcome. But it is heartbreaking, though, watching that. Shazier has received support from near and far. There's a get well card in downtown Pittsburgh that's been signed by fans from all over the world. Nice song. Do it for 50, man. 50 on three, one, two, three. Three. And the Steelers have clinched the AFC North. And when the Steelers won the division title, Shazier celebrated with them from his hospital bed. Oh, yay, babe. Someone held the phone up. It was like, Ryan's on the phone. And, um, just, uh, it was like he was there with us. <laughs> he's broke us down. You know, he's the one that says Steelers on three, and it's, it, it feels so good. Even through FaceTime, yes. it was powerful. Absolutely. Still is. It got scary, but hey, <laughs> we know how to pull it out, baby. Here we go, Steelers. How can you guys best provide support for Ryan? Well, I think it's more than just 
me and these players, the city, billboards have been up about Pray for Ryan, which is awesome. My wife um, and the other wives and girlfriends have really been huge in helping me with the family. An explosion of love and outpour here for Ryan Shazier as he's in the building. What Ryan has told me, it, it's therapeutic for him uh, to get out of the hospital and get to be in this environment because this is what he's used to. You know, he's used to being around his brothers. It's the playoffs. What does it mean to have Ryan Shazier cheering for you guys? We want him to be there with us, whether he's physically there. He'll always be there in our hearts, in our, in our spirit, in our team. It's awesome to have someone to play for.